Consider this problem. What is the derivative of x squared times sine x times e to the 4x times the natural log of x? So we have a product of four terms. How do we find the derivative of that? Well, we need to use the product rule. I'm sure you've seen this equation, the derivative of f times g. Let's say if we have two terms, it's going to be f prime g plus f g prime. You take the derivative of the first part, leaving the second part the same, and then you leave the first part the same, taking the derivative of the second part. So what about if we have three terms? Let's say if we want to find the derivative of f times g times h. So what we would do is take the derivative of the first part, f prime, leaving the other two parts the same. Next, we would take the derivative of the second part, leaving the first and the third part the same. And then finally, we will take the derivative of the last part. So for four terms, we're going to follow a similar pattern. Let's say we have the derivative of f times g times h. And then going in alphabetical order, let's say times i. So it's going to be f prime g h i plus f g prime h i plus f g h prime times i, and then finally plus f g h i prime. So we're going to use this formula to find the derivative of the expression. So let's go ahead and begin. So let's begin with the derivative of x squared. What is the derivative of x squared? Well, we have a variable raised to a constant, x raised to the n. Using the power rule, it's going to be n times x raised to the n minus 1. So it's going to be 2x raised to the first power, or simply 2x. The other three parts, we're going to leave it the same. So it's going to be 2x times sine x times e to the 4x times the natural log of x. Now, let's move on to the next term. So we're going to keep the first one the same, x squared. And then we're going to find the derivative of sine x. The derivative of sine x, that's going to be cosine x. And then the remaining two parts, we're going to leave it the same, e to the x times the natural log of x. I mean, that should be e to the 4x. And then plus, now we're going to take the derivative of e to the 4x. And here's the formula for that. The derivative of e raised to the u with respect to x is going to be e to the u times the derivative of u, which is u prime. So the first two parts will remain the same. That's going to be x squared times sine x. And then we're going to write the derivative of e to the 4x, which is going to be e to the 4x times the derivative of 4x, which is 4. And then times the last part, which is the natural log of x. Now for the last term, we're going to rewrite the first three terms. x squared sine x times e to the 4x. Now we need to find the derivative of the natural log of x. And here's the formula for that. The derivative of the natural log of u, where u is a function of x, it's going to be u prime divided by u. So u is x. The derivative of x is 1 divided by u, which is x. That's 1 over x. So the derivative of nat the natural log of x is 1 over x. Now let's see what we can do to simplify this expression. The first thing we can do is factor out the GCF, the greatest common factor, which is e to the 4x because it's found in all four terms. So taking out e to the 4x, we're going to be left with everything here except e to the 4x. So that's going to be 2x sine x times ln x. And then for the next term, we're going to have x squared cosine x ln x 
And then for the next term, we're going to have everything but e to the 4x. So it's going to be plus 4x squared sine x ln x. And for the last one, x squared divided by x is just x. So we're going to have plus x sine x. So this here is the final answer. And that's as far as we could simplify it. So now you know how to use the product rule when you have a product of four terms or four functions. So that's it for this video. Thanks again for watching.